YouTube, happy Halloween, and uh, this is my review of Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 3, and uh, this was a good episode. It, um, I was very glad that it just focused on Andrea and our new characters. Um, basically, I'm happy about it because they're learning how to spread out a season, and this is one of the ways you do it. And uh, this is another improvement from last season. Last season, we would have spent time on everyone which meant we, we would have gotten probably really boring stuff at the prison uh, if this was season two. Just all character stuff that would have been like just filler and everything like that. Um, but instead, this felt like a big introduction episode. So, uh, you know, it was good. It was solid. The uh, town of Woodbury, where most of the um, episode takes place, I think it was Woodbury, um, had a very Twilight Zone kind of feel, which I love. In fact, it even sounds like Willoughby, which is a Twilight Zone episode. Um, so I love that right away. I like the setting. Um, and, uh, it was good to see that Andrea, uh, the governor, Merle, and, uh, is it, uh, Michonne? Michonne? Machine? I don't know. Michonne, I guess. It's, somebody write it phonetically in the comments so I can, you know, pronounce it better, please. Um, it's good to see that they can carry an episode. Uh, which gives even, you know, more confidence when all the characters do, you know, join together, uh, that we should get a pretty decent, uh, we could, should just get pretty decent drama by then, so yeah. I'm not really gonna go into what happened this episode, I mean, it was, you know, it was just essentially, is this governor and is this situation, you know, gonna be a good situation or a bad one? I mean, anyone that read or didn't read the comic books figured out early on this is gonna be a bad situation. And that was just kind of determined by the end of the episode, uh, which was fine. It was just basically used just for character stuff, which I liked anyway. Um, the only character that didn't really, really do it for me was honestly, uh, you know, uh, again, is it, uh, Michonne or whatever, just because she didn't really do anything other than like kind of look angry. Um, and I'm, look, it's the first episode really of her, like all these other characters... Uh, are either getting their really new introduction stuff, like the governor, or all the other characters, you know, it's been like eight months, so we got to see them, like, kind of grow and change uh, between season two and three. Her, it's just, you know, we're still with a blank slate with her. And even Andrea was just kind of had a dumb line this episode where it was just like, oh, I've known you for eight months, and I still don't know anything about you. It's like, all right, fine. Um, but she has, like, you know, we'll guess, wait to see to see if she has, you know, some more to her. I assume she does. And, um, her killing of her two little, uh, zombie, um, caddies were, uh, you know, they were supposed to mean something to her, maybe, and I guess the sword means something to her. And I'm, I assume we're gonna get maybe a, a backstory of her. In fact, I wouldn't mind an episode just devoted to her completely, to her backstory or something. I hope they do something like that. That would be, I think, pretty good. But, uh, for now, eh. Also, for Andrea, it's kind of like Andrea's going to spend... She was far less annoying, which was good. Another improvement. But it's kind of going to be like she's going to spend a couple of episodes thinking the governor is all right, and then eventually finding out that he's not. Uh, I hope they don't spend too much time on that. But, um, you know, at least she wasn't annoying. That is a plus. And the governor, the governor just kind of reminded me of... Um, I know he's completely different from the comic book, at least how he looks and everything. But uh, he kind of just reminded me of, like, Liam Neeson, and, uh, or poor man's Liam Neeson. And uh, I kind of wanted, wished that Liam Neeson was playing the role. But he was fine, and he seems like an interesting villain, and um, obviously very weird uh, with what he had to do at the end there. So we'll get into his motivations and everything like that, and I think the guy, hopefully the guy should, will be able to sell it. Um, it was also interesting that his, like, lackey, his little Igor, or Igor, guy was in the gray with Liam Neeson. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that just made me think of Liam Neeson again. I've said Liam Neeson way too many times this, uh, review. Uh, kind of look like Zeus a little bit. No, I don't. Um, but, yeah, basically, so, he, he, you know, he should be an interesting villain. And, um, who else? Who was it? Oh, my favorite thing about the episode was Merle, actually. Because Merle, in his brief appearance in the first season, just came off as, like, a racist hick. Well, he was supposed to be, like, just, like, a racist hick. 
and they kind of subdued him and he's a little bit afraid of the uh the governor he you know had some quiet one-on-one scenes that were just well written well acted michael rooker's you know pretty good and i'm looking forward to his reunion with daryl and is what's going to happen with him and t-dog and um yeah i'm just looking forward to more of him which i wasn't like i was glad to see him back to see what they would do but right off you know right off the bat here i'm actually pretty excited about him and um again when everything does come together we should have some pretty uh some pretty high drama so i hope uh i hope that happens uh i guess that's really it i mean like there really wasn't much to this episode except introductions and just character stuff so uh next week we're gonna get the mix of the two um not that they're gonna meet but we'll just get you know each um each uh setting will get their own storylines and um yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what they're going to do with the prison and with these guys. So, again, solid, looking good. Season 3 is still looking good. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Happy Halloween. I'll see you next week. Later. <laughs>